What up? It's your boy, Dick Incredible Manny. Yes, I am back at it again. And can you guess what today is? If you don't already know, let me let me be the one to tell you. It's Black Clover Day, baby, because Black Bulls, Black Clover episode 133, everything, it's all back. It's all back, and I am so happy, and I'm ecstatic over here on my end. So, let's get right into it. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it, so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes Man, oh man, dude I am so hyped, man I love Black Clover, and I'm so happy that it's back And this was so good It was so fun I love seeing all the comedy and everything back in it again But this was just another, uh, it was a conclusion episode from um, episode 132. So it wrapped up everything that we were dealing with, with the giant spider, the volcano, and the Crimson Lion Kings, and a few core members of the Black Bulls. And I gotta say, I loved it, man. Hearing Asta scream, the comedy that him and Noel have together, Charmy, Melly Rona, it was so fun. Show, show? It was so fun to have it all back and bask in the glory that is Black Clover, man. I loved every single moment of it. And I can't wait for episode 134. Um, this episode, like I said, was a conclusion of episode 132 with them going under the volcano to train their mana skin to perfect to prepare for the fight with the Akuma. And I gotta say, I honestly I'm pretty sure I could find something to nitpick about about the episode. But honestly, I loved every single moment moment of it. I, I'm assuming because I just I'm just so happy because Black Clover is back. I loved every part of it. I'm pretty sure, like everybody else, you know, like the screaming part of Asta was had brought back some kind of annoyance because we haven't heard it in so long. But like, I loved every single moment of it, man. I really did. But this episode, like I said, it was a conclusion and it took place right back where we started, where we finished in 132 before the whole pandemic and everything stopped the whole episodes. But now we have a dungeon under the volcano. In episode 132, we found out there was a dungeon. So now in episode 133, we're going to explore it. We see Fuegulan talking to Marx, telling him that they found a dungeon and Marx is giving them the okay to explore it because they need to find whatever magical item is inside the dungeon because Julius told him about it, but they don't have much research on the magical item. So they need to find it, bring it back, and hopefully it can help the kingdom when they take on this fight against the Akuma. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, the funny thing about this episode is that was the whole goal for going inside of the dungeon. But it ended up being a little bit more. It brought all the comedy that does that that's inside of uh, Black Clover that does make Black Clover funny. It brought the comedy back. But it also was a little bit of a, a character build episode and realization episode for Leopold. And I love that fact because Leopold is a cool character. We all love Leopold. Well, at least I love Leopold. And um, this episode, we got to see a different side of Leopold and him admitting that, you know, hey, man, I, I struggled in the past, but now I want to push myself further and prove myself. And that's why Melirona and Fuegolan invited the Black Bulls because Asta pushes Leopold and him and Leopold have the same kind of connection that him and you know has where like you know one pushes the other to strive to be better and stronger and that's what Asta does for Leopold and Leopold does that for Asta and also Fuegolan and Melirona both have accepted Asta's strength man they both recognize it and you got to give credit where credit is due and I really love that fact we see Leopold um Leopold and Randall ended up going down one tunnel. Magna and Luck went down another tunnel. And um, Asta and Noel went down another tunnel. So it was three tunnels. But Leopold and Randall are the only ones that came in contact with the spider and the golems and everything. And we got to see a nice flashback type thing between Randall and Leopold to when um, in the elven arc when they had to fight each other because Randall was taken over by the elves. And... I love that because that's the only part we saw of Randall other than, you know, seeing him here and there as the vice captain of the um, Crimson Lion Kings. And the way he was talking to Leopold, telling him, you know, hey, you need to escape. I got to give Randall credit in him using his power this episode. 
um, he utilized his power to the fullest extent. He like he bum rushed all of these trap spells that were set, and he didn't set a single one off. And he was like, "Hey, let's go." So I I love Randall. I need to see more Randall. I need more screen time on Randall. Um, but like I said, uh, this was a realization episode for Leopold, and we see him and Randall fighting these golems in the spider, and they're not really doing a lot of damage. They're defeating some here and there, but every time they do, it's like some more pop up, and they're not re really getting anywhere. But at that moment, you know what happens. You know what happens? The Black Bulls appears. We have my boy, my boy, my boy, Gordon. We have Noel, we have Asta, we have Luck, we have Magna, we have Charmy. The Black Bull squad comes in strong, and I love seeing the Black Bulls on screen because when you started the series, we all knew that, like, you know, everybody mentioned the Black Bulls. Oh, no, but it's the Black Bulls. But let's be real. Without the Black Bulls, you guys would have lost countless times, man. So let's give it up for the Black Bulls. A round of applause for the Black Bulls. Yes, for credit is due. Um, but we see them helping out and we see Leopold tap into some untapped potential this episode and releases a, a wonderful, and I'm assuming it is maybe like a lion or a panther or whatever, but it was a huge fire attack that just destroyed the spider and all the extra golems and everything. He just went ham and he also destroyed the magical item. <laughs> But okay, I mean, and then we brought back the comedy with Melly Rona was like telling him and Asta, you guys have to stay here and search all of this stuff. Uh, Noel being squeamish around Asta. But we also saw um, Melly Rona tell Noel that, you know, hey, you remind me of your mother with your latest attack in the um, Elven um, arc where she clad herself in the Valkyrie armor. So I was like, dude, that's true. Like she looks just like a mother and now... She wants to talk to Melirona to know more about her mother. And that's pretty much all how this episode went. Then the rest of it was pretty much comedy and everything. Like I said, um, if I really dissected it, I could find some stuff that was like, okay, well, it was, it was here or there, hit or miss. But I'm just so happy to have it back. And the stuff that it really did touch upon with the Leopold and Asta and Leopold coming to the realization and tapping to the into his powers i really enjoyed that aspect because i like leopold as a character and we also got to see some sides and powers of randall and him doing his vice captain duties like um saving some of his uh other members uh make sure he stayed with them to use their mana skin so they wouldn't fall behind inside under the volcano so it was a nice episode altogether. It was just a conclusion of episode 132, but I can't wait for episode 134, man. This is your boy, Dick Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them, and subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out. I cannot complain.